University, a New Jersey family is going to give away free books all up and down the East Coast this summer from a custom renovated bookmobile. I really love this idea. The family's mission follows their own encounters with discrimination. Pix 11's Rebecca Solomon is live at the Hidden Gems Literary Book Emporium in New Brunswick with more. Good morning, Rebecca. Today, we are so excited because Pix 11 News is on their way here to Hidden Gems Literary Emporium. We'll also be talking about our story, how we got started, and how a situation of discrimination at a bookstore really motivated us to start this project. And we really cannot take any credit for anything that has happened. This effort was placed in our hearts, and we really thank y'all for exploding Hidden Gems Literary Emporium all across the world. We are honestly just happy to be used as servants for people in our community. And well, good morning to you. Yeah, and it's such a hidden gem in this atmosphere. I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am to fill you in on what the mission of this family is, especially with what they went through. Kyla and Raymond Sikas always did community service through the relationship, but when they encountered discrimination at a local bookstore in Ocean County back in 2021, they were inspired to start up their own bookstore where everyone feels welcome. It's the nonprofit based store has distributed over 15,000 free books through all of their events. This is such an incredible mission. We're so lucky to be here with you this morning so you can talk us more about your mission. I mean, obviously you experienced discrimination as I mentioned earlier. What kind of impact did that have on you when you and your family went to the bookstore? Well, initially Raymond, my husband and I were, of course, upset, frustrated, but we got in the car and we prayed and we asked for an opportunity for thousands of books to have a bookstore where everyone would feel welcome. Six weeks later, we uh, opened here and inside of above our studio's art gallery. There was over 500 people at our grand opening. We had to shut the street down. The line was out the door, around the corner. Everybody got a free book. And it was really a sign to us that we were put on the right path and doing the right thing. And tell us where you get all of these books. I mean, there's so many genres. Tell us how you cut your collection. All of these books are donated from independent authors all across the world, from families, from libraries, organizations, people who just hear about us and reach out. They don't want to throw their books away. And we tell them that we always find good homes for our books. And so everything is donated. Okay, get this. The family's also fundraising on a GoFundMe to purchase and renovate an RV into their own custom mobile bookstore. They plan to travel from New Jersey to Florida handing out books. They also sell slightly used books and it all fits into their larger goal of promoting childhood literacy. I love it. And you're going to kind of take your mission here from New Jersey yeah. and head on down to Florida and right. you need our help a little bit with that. Yeah. You started a GoFundMe page because how are you going to get from here to Florida with all of these books? Well, we did our first 1,000 free book tour a month after we opened. We took our Chevy minivan, which has since broken down due to moving 30,000 books. Oh my goodness. And so now we do have a fundraiser for a class A RV that we plan to convert into a mobile bookstore where we can bring this experience all across the country. And we're super excited. Either, either way, we are leaving the first week of July. Awesome. And we're looking forward to it. What an awesome opportunity. Why do you think it's so important to promote literacy, especially now, given everything that we went through during this pandemic. Yeah, we speak to educators all the time, and they always tell us that literacy rates have gone down since the pandemic. So children are at are two years behind where they should be. If you have a fifth grader, they're really at a third grade level. And so our philosophy is for children and adults to use excitement, fun, music, art, and uh, books to encourage them to make reading fun again. I love it. What an awesome opportunity, especially we, we just saw your little son Shrew there, so that's yes. great. He's yes. drawing up a storm over there. Yes. And, and speaking of drawing, I mean, this center is not only a great place for books, but also artwork. So yes. we'll touch on that a little bit coming up in our 10 o'clock hour. But Kyla, that's thank great. you so much. You're doing thank great you. things, you and your family, and yes. lots of books out there for kids in our community. I'm Rebecca Solomon. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Thank you so much to PIX11 News for coming and covering our story. Thank you to everybody who has been supporting and donating towards our free bookmobile fundraiser. We have raised, well, 
you all, we all have raised over, a little over $7,000. We have a long way to go. We need about $145,000 to make this happen. Please continue to share our story. Share the link to our fundraiser, which is gofundme.com slash Hidden Gems Literary Emporium. If you're interested in sponsoring this effort, please give us a call, 609-361-4331. We love you for reading. We love you because you love books. And we look forward to bringing the free book mobile all over the world, all across the country. If you are interested in having a free book festival event, or if you would like to bring our future free book mobile to your school, your community, please give us a call. We would love to come pass out free books and speak to your students and adults. We love you all so much on behalf of myself, my husband, and our son, Truth. Thank you for everything.